Rachel Cox. <laughs> yes, Rachel. What's going on? Oh, Rachel, I I want you to know that I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for all the support. You're really, really showing a lot of love, and I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I'm going to read this. I know that you wrote this, but I'm going to read it again just so I can remember everything I want to talk about here. Um, hi, Rob. I just wanted to say I enjoyed the coop party last Saturday, even though I missed you signing my pick because of my own mistake. Listen, thank you so much. Thanks for being there. Um, I don't know what I don't know what mistake you possibly could have made. I know I made <laughs> several, but I absolutely remember that you got a picture and I remember signing it and thank you so much. And uh, Coop Jams, right? It's a whole new thing for doing Coop Jams. <laughs> wow, you just never know. I never know either. That's the thing. I guess that's the thing about it. I, don't, I just don't know what I'm gonna do next. And, and it usually is just ridiculous. So thanks for hanging in there with me. Um, but I wanted to say thank you for being awesome. Thank you for saying that. Uh, down to earth and just the coolest dude ever. Rachel! <laughs> thank you. Really kind of you to say that. Thank you so much. Um, you know, I think it's, it's so weird. This whole thing is just so weird. I mean, I, you know, all right, so I lived in LA and I tried really hard to figure out how to become an actor. And I, I had some success with commercials, which, you know, nobody cares. Commercials are just, that's when you get up and go get more popcorn or, or whatever you need, you know, while you're watching what you really sat down to watch. Com nobody cares about commercials, but they need actors for them. So I somehow had a string of luck with commercials for a while and uh, that's not what I moved to LA to do, but they paid and it was work and it was experience and it was, I enjoyed it. Um, and then all of a sudden I found Red Dead Redemption and, uh, or it found me or however you want to say it. But ever since that moment, I, and, and really my whole experience in LA, just being around people who were different than me, you know, the melting pot and, uh, I'm from a really small town. So the experiences that I had living in a big city, I, I I don't know how, now that I live back in my small town that I grew up in, I don't really know how to uh, express to people how much I've learned about myself and about other people by, by living somewhere other than what's uh, comfortable and what is familiar. And, uh, and so I don't know, I don't know if you live in your hometown, if that's a big city or a small town like mine, but I encourage you to travel and, and if you feel like it, move somewhere very different than what's familiar to you because you're going to, it's going to be scary. I don't know what, I don't know what your situation is, but, um, I know that it meant a lot to me and it still does that I put myself in a, unfamiliar situation and area and learned a lot about myself and other people like I said so um, the reason I'm saying that is is now I had these great experiences right and uh, so fortunate to be part of something that has been just really so cool um, but now I'm back in my hometown and I do I, I do construction mostly concrete work. So I'm on my hands and knees all day, um, doing really hard, dirty work and, uh, doing it with people who are regular people, just like you and me. Right. And, uh, but I'm in this situation now because of the luck that I had when I lived in LA and it's wild. It's just wild. So thank you for saying that I'm down to earth and that I'm awesome thank you and cool whatever I thank you for all of that but I am absolutely the same as you and anyone else 
And, and I love that. I just, I guess it worked out for me in my life to uh, go try something different. And um, I'm so glad that I did. And now I'm back doing my thing here, which I really enjoy too. But I, I think that um, if, there, if there is a difference between me and other people that are in my situation with uh, uh, having friends that I've never met kind of deal, right? Um, I, I am surrounded by people, like I said, that are just like you and me. And so maybe that's what helps me stay down to earth. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just, I think, uh, I thank God for that because I wouldn't ever want to be anything else. Uh, we're all people. We all do amazing things. We all have a lot to be proud of. So um, thank you for saying that though. And um, I really appreciate you, like I said before. So thank you again for reaching out to me. And uh, thank you for just everything that you do. All right, Rachel, you're so awesome. All right, you take care, be well. And I, I wanna say that I think, I think this might be the third cameo that I've done for you. The first one, I think, because I think you reminded me at one point that you wanted me, and if I'm wrong about this, I'm sorry, but you wanted to hear me say Rachel Cox. You wanted to hear me say your name. And I think I did that in my truck in the morning, in the dark. And it was one of the first probably 10 cameos I ever did. So thank you. If you're the same person I think you are, you have been, as far as cameos go, from the very beginning, and here you are again. So thank you, thank you. Awesome. I want to meet you face to face, shake your hand, and let you know that you're an awesome person. This is as close as we can get to that right now. So you, you are awesome and the coolest dude ever, right? <laughs> Lady. <laughs> Thank you again so much. All right, Rachel, you take care, all right? All right, all right, all right. Be well. Thank you.